Hey there, YouTubers. Going down to pet sit and house sit again. This time it's for Vinny and uh, my aunt and uncle's other cat and her niece, who is off on vacation too. They're kicking her cat, so. So there'll be a few cats. And I just did a video a minute ago about how I didn't used to be a cat person, but oh well. It'll be cool to see Vinny. But I was thinking a couple people posted stuff and the question of how I do what I do and how other people do RV in the way they do it. Um, first of all, I don't consider myself a prepper. I don't have any problems with that idea and, and usually they, the preppers make a lot of sense. I have a couple friends who are preppers. I would uh, consider myself maybe prepper light or uh, be prepared kind of thing. I don't want to get into politics, I, but I'll just say there are lots of things my government does that I'm not crazy about, but I'm at the same time, I'm not afraid of my government right now. And I could prove to be a fool. I mean, there could be lots of people out there saying I'm an idiot. Hey, Geek, you going to get up there? There you go. Okay, so she got over her being mad about being in the RV and she's in. But, um, again, that's the beauty of the RV thing, is you can do it whatever way suits your lifestyle. And at the same time, I don't find any reason to judge anybody else for how they do things. Um, I just, you know, I, I tailor it to fit what I want to do. Right now, I'm still, I call it part-timing, because I still am renting a house, but I'm able to afford it. But I have a couple different, uh, I have a few different options of when I become full-time, what I can do. Um, I think I've said enough times to people that may have seen this, is uh, my aunt and uncle have already set up a room for me, so I can home base from their house. Um, the guy I'm renting from, he has another property that might even be cheaper. Darn near not much more expensive than uh, renting a storage shed, really. Pretty cheap. I haven't seen it yet, though. Or there's a couple other places I could, I could stay. But when I do become a full-timer, I'm, like I said, not really a prepper. Nothing against preppers. They make a lot of sense. I really do consider myself more of a wanderer. I want to go and see things. Um, there's a lot of people that that like to boondock, like in the cities, you know, get all stealth camping within a city. Again, I got nothing against that, and I'll probably do that a little bit, but that's not my main focus. I want to go out and see nature and see the sights and things like that. So I'm much more of a campground kind of person or BLM land. That's that's more of what I want to do. I said in another video when you're traveling with pets, you also have to be careful in the heat for them. So some that has kind of that's played a part in my first year or so of, of RV in this way. Keeping that in mind. But my hope is to go from sea to shining sea and up to Alaska and wherever the mood hits me, you know. Come on, buddy. I'm slowing down so you can get in. So although not consider myself a full-blown prepper or anything, I like to I like to be prepared. I like to have enough stuff on hand. Um, a lot of the things that preppers do, I'm kind of doing as well. It's just not, not as a goal, you know, just I do it as a, as a way to fit the lifestyle how I want to do it. Um, I hope the shit doesn't hit the fan like a lot of people think, but I also at the same time, I keep, I keep an eye on it, I try to pay attention to it, but I'm not at a point where I want that to, to dictate my life for me. And hopefully some of my good prepper friends will 
keep an eye out for me and when it if it does happen say I told you so come on so that I can contribute to whatever I don't really think there's a right or wrong way to do much of most things to be honest if you're not hurting somebody else I think you're good just live your life the way you want to live it and again I, I don't I want to be out in nature because I spent too much time in big cities grew up in New York City and, and I love big cities but for a little bit then it's time for me to get out and and be away from that I'm just my main goal is to relax take it easy on some trips have a destination in mind but never I don't want to go back to being concrete timetable kind of thing I want to be able to say oh I'm going to Yosemite it might take me a week longer than I expected because I'm gonna wander off this way whatever the case may be I'm just a guy trying to escape the stress you know I'm trying to find a more laid-back and uh, easy-going way Sometimes I like people, and when I like them, I hang out with them. Sometimes I need a little solitude. So this is a good way. This lifestyle is a good way to do that. Oh, I guess my rambling is just whatever way you want to do your RVing is great. And for me, I'm not judging anybody. I'm in no position to judge. I just wish everybody to honestly, like I try to end all my videos, I really do hope that people just can go out and have a great and wonderful day to enjoy whatever they're doing each day. I guess for me, I'm just trying to find a balance. Too much of anything probably isn't good and not enough of something else isn't good either. I think if you're shooting par in life, you might be doing pretty well. I often wonder if, if in life we're running from something or running to something. I think for most of us, there's probably a little bit of each. But I try as much as I can to be actually running to something. Because whatever is in the past, you can't change it now. There's no sense running from it. It's quite a windy day. This short wheelbase and high center of gravity makes this kind of just kind of twitchy. It's not like it's not like driving something huge that's like a sail, but with the short wheelbase, it doesn't take much to have to make a lot of minor corrections when it's blowing on you. And mine isn't like a lot of people are in a van van, which I think is really cool. I also like the, the Westies, the, the Volkswagen Vanagans, Westies. I think those are really cool. For me, there might be a day that I that I downsize to one of those. Or I might upsize to another one. I never know what I'm going to do down the road. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing today, so that's all that matters. But uh, anyway, in a van, you can do a lot of cool stealth camping. You know, mine's on a van chassis, but to me, there's no stealth in this thing. You know, it's, it's over nine feet tall. It gives every sign of being an RV. It's not, it's not going to hide in a city very easily. me, you know, and if you ever do get in those situations where you don't feel comfortable, if you get a bad vibe, just move. Don't wait to get proven right or wrong. Just, if you don't feel right, just, just find a new place to be. And, uh, base is a nice thing. You can squirt out the window as you're taking off, but to me, there's no, there's no sense in, in, doing much other than avoiding conflict if you're out there in a bad situation. Also in Canada, you can buy bear spray, which shoots a really long way. It's like 
it's like face on steroids I guess it's illegal to shoot it on people but something to think of but I personally I haven't ran into a lot of that I haven't felt unsafe many places I'm hoping while I'm down here, I'll have uh, I'll have my RV inside. I have a couple projects I hope to get done on the RV. I'm semi-handy. I'm not a woodworker or a mechanic by any stretch of the imagination, but I have a couple ideas in my head of something I'd like to get done. And hopefully, I'm able to do it. Looking at the camera, the camera looks a lot brighter than it does outside. Which is rarely what I notice from my camera slash cell phone. But that's just some more extended rambling. Yeah, this wind is blowing me pretty good. It gets me a little squirrely. But I usually like this highway 65 and I'm doing 60 something I just can't do in my car and then when I see like a bunch of people getting ready to join the highway here I'm thinking come on guys pay attention get on the gas I'm giving you all a lot of room all right I give two out of three of you because you weren't paying attention to go I'm trying to teach myself be able to stay in the right hand lane it's, it does not come naturally I don't like it I'd much rather be out passing everybody and then moving back over when I can if you drive just move back over to the right when you can for God's sakes I'll hang out but anyways I can get about 15 miles a gallon if I stick around 60. Do a little bit better even on back roads. So, but if I get up 65 and if I get up to 70, my, my gas mileage really drops down pretty quick. See, again, I have to force myself to slow down. Because this big old beast wants to run. <laughs> Yeah, not so much really. Okay, I've rambled a lot. Hopefully I can turn it into something that about 10 people find semi-interesting. I don't know how many people ever make it to the end where I say have a great and wonderful day, but hopefully some do. So if you made it here, have a great and wonderful day. Get out and do your own traveling and Make your own YouTube videos. I like to watch other people's ideas and things they're doing just as much as I like to make them. I know that pretty much anybody that's made it this far has some damn good ideas of their own that would help lots of us. So get your cell phone, get whatever it is you got, and get a video made. Have a great and wonderful day.